then then it is weak this means that the limit of f of xy is exist then this limit is unique okay now next step let f of xy and g of xy are the are the functions of are the functions of two variables are the functions of two variables are the functions of two variable x and y in domain d is a subset of r square and and cb in arbitrary real number cb in arbitrary real number is limit as xy tends to a b f of xy is equal to l and limit as xy tends to a b g of xy is equal to m then limit as xy tends to a b f of x y plus g of x y is equal to is equal to l plus n that is limit distribute on addition okay also for minus we get in l minus n now next this is first formula next second formula is limit as x y tends to a b limit as x y tends to a b f of x y f of x y into g of x y is equal to l into m third formula is limit as x y tends to a b c into f of x y C is a perfect sign. Then limit. Uh, sorry. Then constant is goes to outside of the limit. So we take C into L and fourth one is limit as x y tends to a b and from x y <coughs> upon g of x y is equal to L upon M provided. Denominator is not equal to C. Also, these results are studied in eleventh and twelfth standard in a function of one level. Okay. This formula are used to solving the example. Now, next bounded function. Let f be a function of two variables on on domain d is a subset of r square on the domain d is a subset of r square then. Then f is said to be f is said to be bounded function bounded function if if there exists m greater than zero. Real number there exists a real number m greater than zero such that 
such that mod of f of x square is less than or equal to m for all x square belongs to d. It means that all image value of d, all image value of d is a less equal to m. Then it is called as If the function of two variable on a domain D is a subset of R square, then F is said to be bounded if there exists M greater than zero, M greater than zero such that mod of f of x y is less equal to M. Means such that image that your value of f of x y is that M is less than zero, less equal than zero, and such that value that you have hold that letter up to M is this function is said to be bounded function. Next. Next is the if limit of if limit of f of x y limit of f of x y exists at at a point at a point at a point a b then in terms of f of x y is at point a because the limit exists of itself then f is bounded f is bounded in some neighborhood in some neighborhood of in some deleted neighborhood Bounded in some deleted level of point A. When the A B of point was that the limit exists on the side, then that point just contains the area. When some level of the half point a half function has the bounded as this function is bounded in some deleted level of point A. Next term is the. Next term is a sandwich term like f of x y 
h of x bar and g of x bar are the functions of two variable are the functions of two variable and and f of x bar is less equal h of x bar is less equal g of x bar for all x bar belongs to d for all x bar belongs to d xy belongs to d or for any or for any deleted delta neighborhood deleted delta neighborhood of a b and and limit as xy tends to a b f of x y is equal to zero for l the f of x y limits by l as it and limit as x y tends to a b q of x y is equal to l then limit as x y Tends to a b. The x y is also. It means that f of x y and g of x y are sandwiched to h of x y. It means let f of x y, h of x y, and g of x y are the functions of two variable. f of x y is less equal h of x y is less equal. G of x y that is h of x y is the middle of f of x y and g of x y for uh, for some delta neighborhood of a b this one delta dividend sum of some dividend neighborhood of a b and limit as x y tends to a b f of x y and limit as f x y tends to a b g of x y is equal to l that is Lower limit is also L and upper limit is also L. So we get limit as x y tends to a b. X y tends to a b. H of x y is also L. मुझे f of x y से ज़रूर limit L आता है, अन्य g of x y से ज़रूर limit L आता है, तो h of x y से ज़रूर limit का ऐसा नहीं है, ही L आता है। Okay. Next. ये वाले You are right. Limit as x y tends to one two three x square y plus i x square y square. So this function is continuous. So directly putting the value of x and y, we get limit as x y tends to one two three x square y plus Limit is distributed. X y tends to one two five x square plus. Also, constant is outside of the limit, and we get limit as x y tends to one two x y tends to one two x square into limit as x y tends to one two y plus. Y into limit as x y tends to one two x square into limit as x y tends to one two y square. This is equal to three into one square is one into two plus five into one square is one into two square is four. Is it for three into two? Six plus twenty is equal to thirty-six. Okay. This is basically example of limit. Now we see the example. Show that. Sh 
show that limit as x bar tends to zero zero limit as x bar tends to zero zero x square sin square y upon x square plus y square x square of solution here we take here we take f of x y is equal to x square upon x square plus y square and g of x y is equal to sin square of sin square of what we know that we know that x square is always equal x square plus y square x square is always less equal x square plus y square this implies x square upon x square plus y square is less equal 1 is less equal 1 taking more on both sides we get more of x square upon x square plus y square is less equal 1 this implies more of f of x1 is less equal 1 in in delta neighborhood of deleted deleted delta neighborhood of in video delta neighborhood of point is zero because at zero zero this is not defined but in a neighborhood of del delta neighborhood of zero zero this function is bounded okay now and and you know that limit x y tends to 0 0 limit x y tends to 0 0 g of x y is equal to limit x y tends to 0 0 sin square if we put in value of y then sin 0 is 0 therefore we get limit as x y tends to 0 0 g of x y is equal to zero. Therefore, by previous theorem, by previous theorem, that is, if f of x y is bounded, if f of x y is a bounded, and g of x y goes to zero, then then f of x y into g of x1 goes to z at point a by this theorem by this theorem we have limit as x1 tends to 0 0 limit as x1 tends to 0 0 x square into sin square y upon x square plus y square is equal to z. Is equal to z. So the next example is a Show that limit as x y tends to zero zero tan inverse of x y upon x y is equal to using sandwich theorem show that tan inverse of x y upon x y is equal to zero solution for any x belongs to R for any x belongs to r we have we have tan inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of x is equal to 1 
minus tan inverse of x is equal to sorry x minus x cube upon 3 plus x raised to 5 upon 5 minus and up to so this is Taylor's is the expansion of tan inverse of x tan inverse of x is equal to x minus x cube upon 3 plus x raised to 5 upon 5 this implies tan inverse of x upon x is equal to 1 minus x square upon 3 plus x raised to 5 upon 5 and up to so okay from this we get from this we get 1 minus x square upon 3 is a less equal tan inverse of x upon x which is less equal 1 okay it's a lot of it's only add up to term which he has not right less than this term is not right and he one model he minus plus the direction he minus the go over it and we minus plus minus plus so that they know one half so so that more tough to the other one which is less equal 1 okay but also x1 x into y is not equal to 0 that x y is not equal to 0 this implies 1 minus this is also true for x y that is 1 minus x y square upon 3 which is less equal tan inverse of x y upon x y which is less equal which is less equal okay here f of x y is equal to 1 minus x y square upon 3 h of x y is equal to tan inverse of x y upon x y g of x y is equal to 1 ok f of x y how it is h of x y how it is and g of x y how it is now now Now, limit as x y tends to 0 0 f of x y is equal limit as x y tends to 0 0 1 minus x y square upon 3 if we put the value of x and y is 0 0 then we get the value is 1 and also Limit as x y tends to 0 0 0 0 g of x y is equal to limit as x y tends to 0 0 limit of constant is also constant that is here we know that f of x y is a less equal h of x y is a less equal g of x y and the limit of f of x y and g of x y is here that is here here is 1 then by Sandwich theorem limit of tan inverse of x y upon x y that is limit of x y tends to 0 0 h of x y is equal to h of x y is equal to limit as x y tends to 0 0 here h of x y is a tan inverse of x y upon x y is 1 is 1 by sin okay okay here example only kind of example I don't know I don't know I don't know he has always that limit as x1 tends to 0, 0 tan inverse of x1 upon x1. One that was that does it have a tan inverse of x to x function by Taylor C is that the x minus x cube upon 3 plus x raised to 5 upon 5 and up to so on. Okay. Then tan inverse of x upon x to kind of like 1 minus x cube upon sorry x square upon 3 plus x to 4 upon 5 x raised to 4 upon 5 and up to so okay g value x value 
satisfy that x y that is the whole thing x is replaced by x y then we get tan inverse of x y upon x y is equal to 1 minus x y bracket square upon 3 plus x y raised to 4 upon 5 plus and up sorry minus and up to so on. we see that the 1 minus x square upon 3 is a less equal tan inverse of x y upon x y and whole value is less equal 1 so we get we get 1 minus x square upon 3 is less equal tan inverse of xy upon xy which is less equal 1. Here f of xy is a 1 minus x square upon 3, h of xy is a middle value and g of xy is a last value. Okay, therefore by using sandwich theorem, what is sandwich theorem? If f of xy is less equal, h of xy is less equal, g of xy and the limit of f of xy and g of xy is L, then limit of h of xy is a L. So we are finding the limit of f of xy for finding limit of f of x y limit as x y tends to 0 0 1 minus x y square upon 3 1 minus x y square upon 3 if you put the value of x and y is 0 then we get answer is 1 and limit as x y tends to 0 0 g of x y that is 1 is also 1 so we get by standard theorem limit as x y tends to 0 0 h of x y is also 1 that is limit as x y tends to 0 0 tan inverse of x y upon x y is a See. Okay, now we complete the, this point. Okay, now thank you for watching this video. Thank you, thank you very much.